Hello. Everybody, close up the hotel. I'm finding my house. It's gonna be a crazy place here. Let's go. All right, time to continue the trip up Highway One. We're heading to Monterey. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, baby. All right, well, teeth are red, guilty as charged. I've been trying a lot of the Pinots here, some of the best that I've ever had. Folktale uh, Winery definitely didn't disappoint. I was surprised at how amazing the food was, had some of the best flatbreads, and oh, the meatballs. Mamma mia, to die for. Well, we have to head back in town over in Monterey in order to go to a wonderful dinner. Not sure where it's gonna go, but I'm gonna find a place. You definitely have to come visit, do a wine tour, join their wine club, Folktale Winery. It won't disappoint on your way through California. Man, what an amazing view. Corner suite, the spin drift in, what's not to love? Ocean front, beautiful furnishings, a balcony that's to die for, layout, listen to the ocean crash. It's a beautiful setting here. Let's go check out the rest of the room. Similar to the other rooms here, they have the fireplace, which is very comforting, warm, makes you feel as though you're staying at a home. Beautiful king-size bed, very spacious, can lay out lots of luggage, lots of space to roam around. You're not in very tight quarters here. This is a, a, a great suite. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, you don't get free rooms unless you, you know, pay for your keep. So up here cleaning, uh, in all seriousness, up on the rooftop, amazing views. They allow you to come up here, lounge. Uh, you could have engagement, private parties. I mean, the best part about it is you can go to one side, see all the way down Cannery Row, down to the aquarium in Monterey, and then look at the beautiful ocean view. Wow, another amazing view here at the Monterey Bay Inn. Coincidentally, on the Monterey Bay, right at the top of Cannery Row. This place, though, has uh, some amazing views of the harbor as well. Let's go check out the hotel. One of the beauties of this hotel is obviously the king rooms, very spacious, and the bed looks back into the bay. So when you wake up, you have nothing but amazing views. Essentially, everything and anything that you need. And again, it's all about location, location, location. When you're traveling, you have to stay in shape, which means when you're doing hotel tours, sometimes you gotta run, jump on pedals. We're here at Wave Street, going to do another tour here in Monterey, California. Come with me, let's go check it out. Here at the Wave Street Inn, uh, one of their sweet products here, really uh, for families, great locations, one of the newest product down in this area in Monterey, California. One of the best features uh, that I love is kind of this family space, very open, lots of natural light coming through, great color and decor for me. Kick my legs up, fun property, great location, and again, one of the newest renovations down here uh, in Monterey, California. Here, Casa Munras, uh, one of the first ranches down in the Presidio. Uh, very expansive hotel, 100, almost 150 rooms. If you take a look here, it stays true to the original roots, right in the center in the heart of Monterey. Continuing through, you'll see a beautiful fireplace, very warm, cozy. Uh, what I love about this place is it spans 10 different buildings, has a central pool, a rose garden, and a classic restaurant called Esteban's. 20 minutes, better than no minutes. Did I mention they have a gym here? Well, they do. Pretty expansive and nice. Tub boss, can't help it. Except this one, I can go down. <laughs> oh, it's very high though. I'll be back. I gotta go in for a quick massage, retool, refocus. Massage boss. All right, we've made it. Last day of our trip here in Monterey, California, visiting a ton of our preferred partners, uh, the Monterey Inns. 
Uh, from there, man, what a whirlwind it's been. We started in LA, drove all the way up to Santa Barbara, saw the Four Seasons Biltmore, amazing property, the Harbor View, uh, and right on the beach in downtown Santa Barbara, then shot up to San Luis Obispo. Great tri-tip, wonderful properties, the cliffs, uh, and several of the other uh, of our preferred partners there. Continued up through Hearst Castle. We didn't stop there, we went to Big Sur, Ventana, classic hotel in the middle of nowhere, but amazing views. And then of course, continued up the coast here to Monterey, California. We're gonna head over to a couple more properties, a couple meetings from there, and then unfortunately, gotta catch a flight home. Somebody's gotta work around here. Just arrived at Pebble Beach. Uh, we're actually at the golf course right now uh, at the main lodge for a meeting with some of the executives here. Uh, not gonna be able to show you that, but we're gonna catch a little bit of a highlight reel for you after the meeting. Let's go check it out. Definitely know that's the most famous cypress tree in the world. Beautiful day out here, end of summer. Doesn't get much better than this. I faced off over here. Uh, you know, beat Phil coming down the 17th. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Couple fun facts. So they have the, the new wing over here that was completely renovated uh, down the fairway there. They have the fairway villas. Uh, also some incredible new product here with Pebble Beach Resorts. You have the lodge, which is iconic for multiple reasons. And then you have these, uh, these buildings over here that are you know, a little bit older tower. They've been renovated and redone, but after the open, they're actually going to completely tear them down and have a new build. So lots of great, interesting things happening on property. Uh, you know, they, they really are focused on holding rate. The, the golf course sits at 99.8% occupancy, so one of the most difficult golf courses to get on in the world. Heading over to uh, the tap room. Met Tiger Woods in here. Uh, Joe Pesci asked me uh, the bar. Faisal, what kind of effing name is Faisal? Good old tap room. Classic bar, especially during the Pro-Am. As we keep on heading down the coast over to Pacific Grove, uh, this is an area you have to come and visit. It's called Lover's Point. Uh, you can come here not only for the beautiful views, but a little game of duck, duck, goose. Duck, 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 goose. <laughs> Well, we're here at the San Jose airport. All right, I'll spare you from singing, but the road trip has come to an end. We've driven all the way up the California coast, Highway 1, started in LA, grabbed a car in LAX, had to be a convertible, because how else are you gonna travel? Stopped in Santa Barbara, several of our preferred partners, local locations, had some of the best ice cream we've ever had. San Luis Obispo, tri-tip sandwiches, uh, stayed in another cliffside hotel. We ended up in Monterey, Carmel Valley, Pebble Beach, so many great things, but like everything, all great things must come to an end. Signing off. Gotta go home, we out.